Previously on Power Slap, all road to the title. The first round of the competition delivered another massive knockout. Fight's over. Yes, sir, baby! As Delvin Country Hoodlum Hamlin took out Jonathan Correa, bringing Dana White out of his seat. Badass. Appreciate it. Holy fuck. Shake that motherfucker's hand when this is over. Then welterweight Zack Zane secured his spot in the second round of the competition. Good hit, brother. As Federico oh, Benedetelli was it. disqualified with two striker oh, fouls. Clubbing. Two fouls. DQ. Now, get ready for USA versus Canada in an international showdown. Let's fucking go! Team KO Chris's Brandon the Butcher Bordeaux puts his skills to the test. Eddie, you better be prepared for what's coming, but I gotta knock you out. As he faces Eddie Spaghetti Brahimer of Team Muniz. Brandon, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. While you're laying there, I'll sing you a fucking lullaby. The winner advances. I don't know if that kid can take two of those. The loser ah! goes home. And you're just like, oh, okay. It's so, yeah, just another reminder why we're here. To me, I gotta win this. I had to leave my family, I had to leave my kids, I had to put my job and stuff on hold, so I'm here to win this. We are heading off to work. 49 degree October day in Michigan. I'm from Fremont, Michigan. It's a great small town. Everybody kind of knows everybody there. A little bit of a tour of our kill trailer. Me and my little brother, we actually own a mobile slaughtering business together. We go around to farms, local farms around the area, and we do some slaughtering, and then we load them up into our trailer, and we deliver them around to processors over there. We grew up on a dairy farm and stuff our whole lives, and in 4-H, so we've been involved, you know, and been around all this stuff forever. This is my six-year-old son, Lane. We are at our flag football game. I have four little ones at home. I have a six-year-old son named Lane. I have a five-year-old daughter named Lennox and I have twin three-year-olds named Livy and Laroe, and then I have my fiance Mallory. I keep my circle real small. When I'm not at work and stuff, I'm always with my kids. I'm always with my fiance. We're always together. We're headed back out to Vegas for Power Slap, Road to the Title season two. We're headed out to win this shit. Just finished at the gym. Gonna head home, muck a bunch of food and then go to jiu-jitsu, and uh, then I'll probably go to bed. So I'm from Caledonia, Ontario. It's a tiny little town. Everybody knows everybody. I've grown up with the same friends my whole life. We're all like brothers. What's going on just with my big dog, Eddie? We're on the way to the gym. We're gonna have a sick fucking workout today. Let's get it, brother. My family's uh, a little bit off. I don't speak to my father too much. He uh, left when I was 16, but mostly it's just me, my brother, and my mom. So just say your name. What's going on? Just say I'm Emerson Brahimer. My name is Emerson Brahimer. <laughs> well, my brother's a pretty big inspiration to me, and he's actually helped me a lot, get me in shape, and get me out of all the crap that I used to be in. Weaponize. So I just started training jujitsu uh, beginning of this year. <laughs> I had a tournament uh, about three months ago. I came third in that tournament. I joined Power Slap because it seemed like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I couldn't pass it up. Perfect. I truly don't believe there's as many people out there that is, are as competitive as I am. What's up, big dog? You feel good today? Yeah, buddy. Feeling good? We can get yeah. that first round KO today. I yeah, man. Expect a lot of big things from you, all right, big dog? If you can take my fucking my slap, I'll be really surprised. I might look like a nice guy, but deep down, if you really fuck with me, or you have something that I want, I'm gonna take it from you, and there's no stopping me. Ah! To me, I look at this as life or death. When I set my mind to something, I take it to the extreme. It isn't just a half in, half out type deal. Got this, baby. Fuck yeah, coach. 
So I've been there, I've done it, I've seen it all, and uh, now it's time to go. Got this, baby. All day. Let's go, baby. My why would have to be my family, my kids, my fiance. Eddie, you better be prepared for what's coming. You're a nice guy, but I gotta knock you out. You know there's gonna be no draw right here. Let's go, let's go, five go. Oh, no! I know that I'm stronger than this guy in probably every aspect. He might be taller than me, but I'm gonna knock him the fuck out, so it doesn't matter. We're really gonna see. I'm gonna show everybody what I'm capable of. It's go time, Hayden. Let's go! I fight for all my friends and family back home. Let's go, live in the moment. It's your time, brother. Brandon, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. While you're laying there, I'll sing you a fucking lullaby. Ah! Gentlemen, to the center. All day, Brandon. Get your shoulders down. All right, hold that position, don't move. Okay, you're slapping first, what's your hand, what's your count? Right three. Let's go, right one and done. Right on three. You must measure. One and done. That's your Let's measure? Let's go. He's putting that chin up in there for you. Let's oh, set your it chin's down. still. One, two. Eight that shit. Hey, eat that. that shit. Wobbly. Good slap. It's a fucking war. You wobble him a little bit. And we're gonna sit down, we're gonna eat this shit, and we're going to the next one. Put him down. Easy, easy work, on, easy work. I'm good. All right, you good? You're good. I'm good. Sit. He don't know where he's at right now. He's trying to gather Hold himself. Hold your position. Fighter set. Watch your feet, remember? Right on three. Right hand on three. You Push must measure. We're gonna eat this shit. Measure. Light work, no reaction. One, two. Oh, yeah! That was a nice one. Good slap. Holy shit. I don't know if that kid can take two of those. That's the best he's gonna give you. It's not gonna get any better than that. Shit's fucking light. Let's keep your shoulders down on this one. Natural position. Hold it there. You good? Fighter set. Hand, count. Right on three. Right hand on three. That's your measure. One, two. Ah! That was a huge flip. Damn. Damn. I think it just for a couple more seconds. I think if you rock him so good, if you just fucking push through on the wire, remember to be farther to the other side. Mm -hmm. And him push him through. And push through like a okay. fucking okay? Right, no. Got it, bro. Easy beat. Y'all ready? Yep. Fighter set, hand count. Right on three. Let's right go. on three. Let's go. A little more bend in that knee. Here we One, go. Two. Easy. Oh, God damn. Good job. Good slap. Oh, fucking go. What do you say? Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a fucking chin on. You're doing great. I need a big one out of you on this one, okay? I need your best one here, okay? Hold that position. Don't raise your shoulders. No, that slap was so fucking loud. Look at no, him bleeding. That was perfect. He's fucking bleeding on his cheek. Fighter set. Hand count. Right on three. Right on three. Must measure. Put a hole in his fucking face. That's for last. Let's go, bud. One, two. Oh, oh yeah! Let's go, baby. Good luck. Imagine eating both that guy's slaps and having to take one more for him right now. When you have a hole in your fucking face. God damn. Let me wipe your face. You got a little blood in there, okay? So far, they're fucking nasty already, though. You keep going what you're doing, though. Give me a good position. Yeah, we're good. Don't lean on it. Hold your position. Keep that there. Y'all good? All right. A little more bending Deep breath, than Brandon. set, we and go. count. Right on three. Right on three. Must measure. One. It's all you, brother. Two. Three. Easy. Let's go. 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 Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. Nice. God damn. Eddie's fight, super interesting. I think it was a really close fight, could have gone either way. 
Eddie's really showed a lot, showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit, as well as an impressive and clean slap. Brandon's a good dude. And uh, this might be his first slap ever, too, and he fucking aced it. I feel like he could have done a tiny bit better, but it was great. Badass fight, you two. Very, very good. We have a winner, unanimous decision. Red. Yeah. I'm happy with how it went, but at the same time, I'm a little bit pissed off. Uh, I'm always going to the finish, but I'll take the win any day. Uh, hey, the next one will be better. Uh, Great job. I'm happy with that. Great job. Thanks, guys. Man. The other middleweight should be concerned with the fact that they're not going to be able to knock me out. It's going to take a, you know, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than what he just did to knock me out. But then I hope you're prepared for war because we're going to war. That's so right, brother. Hell yeah, you ate some fucking shots. I'm a little disappointed because I didn't win. We both have chins. I guess the judges thought his slaps were a little harder or maybe positioned better. But either way. It's a, it's a win in my book because I've never been knocked out and uh, I don't plan on getting knocked out anytime soon. Hey, great job. I ate that shit. Good job, bro. What can you do? You're both tough as shit, man. That was a good fight. It's always good to see a clean three-round fight. These guys showed they have great technique, power, and unbelievable chance. It truly could have gone either way, but the judges gave the win to Brandon, so he's moving on to round two. With another great fight in the books, it's time for the next super heavyweight matchup. 800 pounds of power takes the stage as Team Muniz's sumo wrestler, Hayden Southall, takes on Team Thomas's Samoan threat, Micah Sayuli. This is gonna be another badass fight. My house. Emmanuel No Love Mooney's never been knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Oh! Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got real. Oh, okay. That's called a love slap. Really? Yeah, would you like another? Hmm, yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. My name is Hayden Southall, I'm 25, and I'm from a small town south of Dallas named Dublin, Texas. They used to be known for making Dr. Pepper with pure cane sugar. Oh. I got into sumo wrestling. I really just Googled sports for uh, large guys, and there was football and sumo wrestling. Sean Bird on the right, Hayden Southall on the left. Hot eye. Oh, Kyle's out. I'm the current Scottish Sumo Openweight Champion, and I'm in the lead for the Texas State Championship for 2023. Hayden Southall, your winner in the Open Division. Hayden Southall of Dallas Sumo. Maki. You know what time it is, Maki? Time to get your butt moved or? It's time for you to get your butt moved. Micah. Maki challenged me to a 8 a.m. duel in the sand pits, best two out of three. I'll show you why number one in North America is Ooh, number one in North America. Yeah, okay. them some big words from a big guy. Okay, it's been like two years since he was number one. The stakes were if you lost, you had to get in the cold plunge. Good morning. Did you sleep all right? I fell asleep in the chair. Then I went to take a shit and fell asleep on the toilet. <laughs> they hate him every day. He's like, hey, let's do sumo. And he's, he's saying, it's like, oh, I train every day. I think I can beat you. And uh, just to shut him up, I was like, all right, man, I'll challenge you. All right, there he is. Everybody fucking go at it. Seeing them both wrapped up in those giant diaper thongs was crazy. Hayden, I watched him work out earlier this morning before the, before the match, and he's doing these little sideways squat things, putting his legs out to the side. I went out and tried it. It's not as easy as it looks. I did about 10 of them, and my legs and my hips were burning. <laughs> I shoulders are Oh, oh Hayden ain't playing. <laughs> he put the motherfucking fist down. He put the fist down. He's like, oh, yeah, because they all four got a touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, the touch all fours. Someone have 
To see two 400 pound people clash is something wild. And to be honest, when you see a 420 pound guy wearing a diaper, it's a little bit gross. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say. The diaper on. Man, I hate we're all back there. Ooh, damn. Damn. Go, go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! Okay. One and one. That's it. One and one. You see, just like how real it is. I went and put a put the sand in his mouth, basically. He wasn't playing no, that one. Shit, this this oh, blue team. We went three rounds and I won two of them. If I have a slap fight with Maki, I think I have the advantage. I'm in his head. He knows what to expect. He knows I'm bringing the heat. Losing feeling in my toes. Oh. He's like, get the duck, get the duck. Drafting Hayden, I knew he had a sumo background, and I was hoping, you know, he'd have good, good hip mobility and be able to use that that weight to his advantage. One, two, three. What I would do too, another thing is when you're, uh, when you're closing your eyes, I try to wait until they pull back on their final one. Right? So if I'm coming on three, this is my last one. I wait till they get to their back, then I close my eyes. So you want to kind of. I'm really worried about flinching. Right? Yeah, because I've never done it before. Yeah, you you want to be, you want to know it's coming, but obviously not exactly when it makes yeah. contact. But if you're unaware completely, then yeah. it'll shock you. I'm getting real accurate with my slaps. I'm sure that the defenses he's taught me, knowing when to tense up, how to tense up, uh, what to expect, how not to flinch, that kind of stuff is going to help me out a lot. Where are you from, big guy? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. And you do sumo? No. No, no that's, that's our guy. other one. Our, our guy. guy. Yeah, our guy. There's our two guy. Hawaiians here. The one on the couch is asleep right now. He does sumo. Ours is a short guy. guy. We're actually, we're actually Samoans. You yeah. seem like yeah, we're Samoan. You seem like a guy, a tower team. You know. He's shorter and he's more ugly than me. I'm yeah. uh, more ugly. Yeah. I'm, I'm he was ugly, like, but he's he more was, ugly. Yeah. He was sleeping earlier and he's like. Michael Seuli. I'm 34 years old, and I currently live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Moved from Hawaii. I moved away from everybody back home, but now everybody lives with me, my family, my mom, my brother, my sister. That's all us Polynesians do. Hey, to be fair, though, they knew y'all were coming. Do you see how much spam is in the pantry? <laughs> <laughs> you know how healthy spam is for you, bro? That's really healthy. I went to high school with a crazy Hawaiian who is an icon in the slap fight world. He's the one that gave me the light to a slap fight, and now I'm here. Power Slap had called me to uh, be in their event as a super heavyweight contender. They wanted me to be on Power Slap 3. Two weeks before the date, they were like, you're gonna go against the crazy Hawaiian. All right, what's gonna be your hand and your count? Left on three. Not a problem. I have no problem going against my high school friend. I have no problem putting everything aside and just doing what we're here to do is slap the shit out of each other. Being on that stage, those lights, that crowd, it, that's a whole new world right there. And it was amazing. It was, it was fun. I was there to knock his head off. Oh, he going right in the glass. He don't oh, know who sipped on that. better put some olives in that hoe or something. Oh, he going straight. I've never been knocked out in my life. Like that one famous song says, hit me with your best shot. Oh, that's tequila right there. <laughs> I'm here to knock somebody down, slap my way up through the house, and take that super heavyweight title. Ah, damn. Try to, try to pull it back to you. 
when you slap, dude. Just like that, try to pull it like you're gonna whip it back to you like that. Yeah. Fucking done. Do you see that difference? Yeah. My strength I bring into this fight is the knowledge of being in multiple slap fights already. I, I know no one here is gonna rock me or put me down, but that that does, of course, put that pressure on. And that, it don't matter how, I mean, all that weight behind that speed, dude, that's gonna kill somebody's face. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Next to scale, Micah Sayuli. The super heavyweight division, uh, Micah and Hayden, that's uh, the two big, big, big boys. 400? Up to the 400. Oh, trying to get 400. Hell yeah. To be honest, I got to go with Team Hawaii. You know, I, I really think Uncle Micah has a little bit more experience than Hayden. 400, let's go. Oh, you what? Whoa, whoa. That's on the button. He manifested 400 that. pounds. <laughs> Hayden is a sumo wrestler. You know, I know they, they do a little bit of this, but you know, you gotta do this, you know? So if I'm gonna put my money, I'll put my money on Micah. Next to the scale, Hayden Southall. Super heavyweight Micah and uh, Hayden definitely gonna have a good match. They're gonna go toe to toe. It's Hayden's first one. And we got 400 over here too. Micah's definitely done this before, so he knows what to expect. Hayden definitely does not. It's all new experience to him, but he has competed in various other different platforms. 414. I think that's gonna be a good one to watch for the masses, for sure. It doesn't get any bigger than this. These dudes are a total 814 pounds combined. Nobody would wanna stand in front of either one of these guys. Oh yeah. They have virtually identical slap scores. Both are in the 850s. Micah should have a slight edge given his previous slap experience. So let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh my God. This is the most exciting sport on earth. Welterweight champion, KO Chris Thomas. All he does is knock dudes out. This is my belt, my house. Emmanuel No Love Moonies. Never be knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got a real. Oh, okay. That's called a love slot. Really? Yeah, would you like another? Hmm, yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. I fight for showing off this body right here. I'm pretty good at keeping a cool head under pressure when I'm fighting. Uh, I have competed in sumo internationally. You look good in practice the other day. That mobility is real good. I love to see that hip, that hip fluctuation. I want you to get that power into it. All right, bud? All right. I love and I enjoy eating these slabs. Aiden, hit me with your best shot, because that's the only one you're going to get. I'm coming for you. Uh, I love Micah. I'm real excited to fight him. He's real strong. Micah, hope you're ready. Sumo Slapper's coming for you. What hand and on what count will you be striking? Right three. Right on three. You're set here. Right on three. Right on three. <laughs> One. Two. Oh. 
Foul. Clubbing. Foul. Did that shit? That was breakfast. If you don't knock him out, you're gonna have to eat lunch and then dinner. Your problem there is you're just a little bit too low. It's a good, good mm -hmm. slap. Careful with this end too, because I think you hit yeah, his chest. And that stops your rotation, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's get up there and let's eat that shit. Better's good. Which hand <clears throat> what count would you be striking? Left on three. Left on three. Fighter set. Left on three. Eat this shit. One. Eat this shit, Hayden. Two. <clears throat> Light work, Hayden. Light work. That's good. Be good. <sighs> Fair blow. <clears throat> It's easy, right? right? Yes, sir, brother. Really. All right, like I said, we're gonna tuck that elbow back. We're gonna swing through, make sure we're connecting on the right spot, okay? No, that wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Which hand, what count? Right on three. Fighter set, right on three. Right on three. Let's go, Hayden, clean slap. One. Two. Ooh. Fair blow. Beautiful slap. That was good. Not good enough, though. There we go. It's a good slap. Great slap. Great slap. Let's go. You good? Mm -hmm. You feeling good? Just keep it clean and push through and build. Remember, step to one side more on the side. You gotta push through. You set here? Which hand and what count? Left on three. Left on three and you're set? Left on three. Fighter set. Left on three. Good shit, dog. Good. That guy ate that slap like a champ, too. Look at him. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't move. He doesn't nothing. Light work, Aiden. Light work. That second slap was great. Let's deliver that one again. Okay. Let's deliver it. Let's get a knockout right here. You got to give me a little more energy. I hope you knock him out. That's the goal. A big motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta, you see this hand? You gotta push through him, bro. Push through him. Ready, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Fighters ready? Okay. Which hand and what count will you be right striking? On three. Right on three. Right on three. Right on three. One. Two. This is good? All right, fair blow. You just gotta hit him, knock him out, or do whatever you win either way. That was a good slap. Yeah, good man. Slap. Your face made of concrete or something. Put your weight into it, bro. You're 400 pounds. Look, you hit him so hard, you knocked his earpiece out, bud. <laughs> Let's go, Hayden. Left on three. Left on three, fighter set. Left on three. Let's eat this shit. Let's call it, Hayden. Light work, One. no reaction. Two. <clears throat> it was Excellent light. Match, Fair blow, that's it. When you think of two 400 pound dudes, you think of like, boom, like, like, Something gonna happen. Somebody gonna get knocked out. Aiden was looking good in practice. He had a, you know, pretty good technique. Unfortunately, I think uh, he just let the nerves get to him in the moment, and he wasn't really putting out his best effort. <clears throat> this bout is ruled a majority draw. You don't see a lot of draws in power slap, but if there was ever gonna be one, it's this fight. Hayden and Micah just didn't bring the power you'd expect from two. 400 pound guys. Not that impressive, and I'm gonna have to sit down with our matchmakers and decide which of these two will move on to round two, but right now, I don't think either one of them deserve it. Next up, two more middleweights get the chance to prove their worth 
as Estonian prospect Merlis Musikis from Team Thomas faces off against Montana's own Johnny Anderson. Welcome to the Power Slap weigh-in, gentlemen. First to the scale, Merlis Musikis. Uh, my prediction in the bout between Merlis and John, I'm gonna go Merlis on this. I like John, but Marlis is like a little Mike Tyson you see in, in the gym there, stretching his neck out. I don't think he's going to get knocked or rocked. 182. <laughs> to the scale, John Anderson. I think John, if he comes with it, I think he can do it. He's got to knock him out that first round. Mirrorless, he, he looks like he's, he's built for the task. So Johnny's going to might have a little problem with that. 178 and a half. Merlis has the second highest slap score overall in the entire competition. 1,044. He is an international prospect we are very excited about. But fight his advantage on paper, he definitely cannot sleep on Johnny Anderson. This kid has a ton of heart. We've seen the best of the best get knocked out in this sport. So anything is possible. Anything can happen. I am pumped for this one. On the next episode of Power Slap Road to the Title, it's another epic international battle. Estonian Armed Forces member Merlis Musikas takes to the stage to face 33-year-old Johnny B. Good Anderson of Montana. Then, two more super heavyweights collide as McKinney Big Mac Manu takes on former football player Evie on the Waterboy Scott. A supersized showdown with the winner moving on to round two. This is a good fucking fight.